Hey guys, this is Linda and I just wanted to do this old Hollywood hair and makeup tutorial. This is my go-to look for um, when I go to parties or weddings. So yeah, if you're interested, please keep on watching. Thanks. First off, I'm gonna brush out all the knots in my hair and then I'm going to use Dove Dry Shampoo and spray that all in my roots and work that in. Using a teasing comb, I'm going to part my hair um, straight down to the side. And today I'm using a one and one and a half inch curling iron by Conair. And it's in the highest setting because my hair is pretty thick. I'm going to wrap the hair around the curling wand and curl in towards your face and leave that in for about 20 30 seconds and once you let the curl fall you're gonna wrap it into the direction that it was curled and then pin it up with either a bobby pin or a clip And once again, you're going to curl in towards your face and then roll it in with your fingers and then pin it up with the pin. I used the bobby pin because that's all I had. For every piece of hair I curl, I like to spray Tresemme's Extra Firm Control Hairspray into my hair. And for my bangs, I curl it in towards my face and then pin it to the side because it's pretty short. And then keep doing that until you're finished curling your hair. So you probably noticed that the foundation I use is super, super light, and then I forgot to use my primer. So I'm gonna wipe that off, and I'm wrapping my hair with a bandana just so that, just so that my hair will stay put. If you have oily skin like I do, you'll love this primer by Too Faced Primed and Poreless. It's the pure version, and I'm gonna pat that into my skin. Today I'm using L'Oreal's Infallible Pro Matte Foundation in color Pure Beige. Using a concealer brush, I'm going to spread that all over my face and then using a damp beauty blender to blend that out. and I wanted a little bit more coverage in the center of my face, so I'm applying one more layer. To conceal my face, I'm using Maybelline Super Stay Better Skin Concealer in color Light Medium, number 30. I'm going to apply that under my eyes, on the bridge of my nose, in between my brows, on the corners of my nose, my mouth, and and in the center of my chin. To set my concealer, I'm using Laura Mercier Translucent Powder.
To prime my eyes, I'm using Essence Eyeshadow Primer in I Love Stage. And to create a blank canvas, I use NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in, in color Milk. And I'm using a fluffy eyeshadow brush to blend that out. For the inner corner of my eyes, I'm using Laura Geller's Baked Eye Dream Sandbar. I'm using the lightest shade. Today I'm going to try to do my eyeshadow with um, tape and I'm going to pat that onto the back of my hands twice before I apply that just so that it won't tug when you take it off. For the outer corner of my eyes, I'm using the dark bronzy color. And to blend the inner corner and outer corner colors together, I'm using that really nice bronzy gold color and putting that in the center of my eyes and blending the two colors together. To blend out the crease, I'm using Max MSF in color medium dark. And I used a really soft blending brush to blend that out. Today I'm using this super cheap eyeliner from NYC. It lasts all day long and it's in the color Black is Black. I don't know if this ever happens to anyone, but I'm always impatient and I never let my eyeliner dry before I look up so it transfers on the top of my lids. Ugh, so annoying. Anywho, taking a soft blending brush, dipping that into Max Carbon Black Eyeshadow, and I'm going to deepen the crease. And I'm touching up my eyeliner because when I removed the tape, um, I just wanted it a little bit darker. For my brows, I'm using NYX Micro Brow Pencil in color taupe. Curled my lashes and applied um, Maybelline's The Falsy Mascara. And to smoke out my bottom lash, I'm using that I'm using that gold shade and apply that on my bottom lash line. And taking Milani's Cole Kajal Eyeliner and I put that in the bottom waterline. Going in with a pencil brush, I'm going in with that bronzy color, putting that in the outer thirds of my bottom lash line. And using a detailer brush, I dip that into Max Carbon Black and blend that out a little bit. And to highlight the inner corner of my eyes, I'm going in with that pearl color in the eyeshadow palette. And to contour my nose, I'm using LA Girls Pro Concealer in Beautiful Bronze. And what I like to do is tilt my face to the side and draw down the corners of my nose and just the tip of it. And for me, that creates a taller, slimmer nose. And to set my contour, I'm using a, a powder that's two shades darker than my skin tone. To bronze my face, I'm using Max MSF in color medium dark. And today I'm gonna lightly contour my cheeks and a little bit on my hairline and my temples. And I also like to put it um, under my jawline just so that 
I hide that double chin. You know, girls. <laughs> and for blush, I'm using Stila Positively Pink Cheek Palette. It's a nice, flush, I guess, rosy color. Since I couldn't find my lip liner, I'm gonna use Marabella's Red Velvet Lip Pencil and I'm going to line my lips with this. To top that off, I'm using MAC Prepare for Pleasure Lipstick. It's a really nice classic um, red lipstick. And to clean the outer corners of my lips, I'm using a concealer brush and using, um, using a little bit of the foundation that I applied earlier. The reason why I like this better is because it's just easier to blend out than using a concealer. Since I wanted a nice sheen to my face, and I'm applying that on the bridge of my nose, um, on my high points of my cheeks, and under my brows. All right, it's finally time to let down your hair. It's getting really hot in that bandana, but um, going to carefully let down your curls and take out all the pins. And you're gonna brush your curls inward. And for my bangs, I like to um, brush it out and then pin it and then spray a little bit of hairspray just so that it will hold the little wave. And I used a bunch of hairspray just so that all my baby hairs won't stick out like crazy. And I forgot to use the all nighter spray, so I'm doing that now just so that my makeup will last all night. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you could please comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in a later video. Bye. The dress I got from a boutique like years ago. I can't believe I still have it, but anyway. Um, and the shoes, I paired it with um, some nude pumps and very simple jewelry. So yeah, that is the finished look.